pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver. Good morning, now. good morning, Bixware Roadrue.com. What's your morning, Horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga Coffee. All right, all right. Um, as predicted on the road to Ruta, uh, it's not going to be the delivery of the criminal cabal silver in the delivery mode. Usually that happens at the very beginning. That's too much of a red flag for the banking cabal. I do think we're absolutely still on track of breaking the back of the cabal with congressional hearings happening in late May, 26th and 27th. So what... Knowing these guys for 20 years that I've been studying them, what would they do? If they knew on the 26th of May it was required that they allow the price of silver to blow out past 30, past 40, I don't know where it go to, hopefully past 50, how would they set it up? They would set it up so that it does not look like their fault. Had it happened at the beginning of the delivery month or in a regular delivery cycle, which is the beginning of May, is the start of the May delivery month, so most of the contracts of the banksters get delivered in the first couple of days. That is not happening. It's it's really normal, and that's what they want. They want it to be really normal. For example, going to the futures and options, we have total deliveries this month uh, right now is about 40 million ounces. No, wait, 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 wait. 35 million ounces. With another, I just did the calculation, 60, 30 million ounces with another 10 waiting. So if you look here, there's uh, 2.4, 2.4, which is another 12. So it puts us right around 40, 42. Remember, they closed out 20 million ounces in cash on Friday. So that's where we are. We're looking at a normal 40 million ounce delivery so the bankers can say well the delivery wasn't that crazy at the beginning of the month when all the bankers took their uh, metal off the table for their customers bullshit but here's what the big deal is during a delivery month anybody can walk into the market and put their money down and demand delivery today that's what the good guys plan is that's what they want to show the world it was the little guy not the banksters that caused this explosion in the price of silver so watch all month right now the total i'm going to run the total right now actually i already did 29,540. 29,540 plus the 12 we're looking at 41.5 million ounces right now normally during the month you'll have maybe 50 or 60 uh contracts not a lot you know a couple million ounces delivered extra above and beyond what the close of last month was in the beginning of the delivery month. What happens if it blows up during this month and people go on the comics, unknown entities go on the comics and blow up the price because that's where it has to be done? That's when they can say, oh my God, it was these Reddit guys. Oh my God, it was the, the Silver May Day guys. By the way, I went and bought my silver on May Day. I hope you guys did too. May 1st. Um, Went out to Castro Valley Coin, hung out with some Road to Ruta people, bought some silver. A lot of people in the silver store. Good job, people. Um, but they're going to blame those guys, too, the guys who started the May Day. So that's who they're going to blame. Wall Street Bets, Silver, and the May Day guys. They're the problem with silver. They're the ones saying, telling the world to buy silver. How dare they? That's, that's what Jamie Dimon's going to tell Congress. The social media is the reason the silver price went up. It's it's sad but true. Our friend John Adams down in Australia is fighting with Kitco, the, the criminals over at Kitco, about their uh, allocated, unallocated, they call it synthetic silver. I like that name. I never used that name. The synthetic silver accounts. Um, but he's, he's digging in deep. He's uh, Basically, Kitco is suing him. Because Kitco's right in there with the Perth Mint, and there's a handful of mints that do this. The criminal, and, and banks, by the way. Banks have, uh, if you hold your silver with a bank, 99% chance they don't have your silver. 
99.9% uh, <laughs> .9 chance they don't have your silver. So uh, all the fractional reserve silver that was being held uh, is a fraud. And that's why you have to keep your silver in your own possession. So John Adams went after Kitco, called him out, saying what we already knew, um, that 100% of the silver does not back all of their um, silver obligations. I don't, I don't even think in the prospectus it does, but it's definitely marketed as that. When you buy, especially when you buy allocated, by definition, that has to be there. Um, so John was calling him out. Kitco got pissed off, had their letter, sent him a cease and desist order. He published the cease and desist order on Twitter. Twitter uh, Kitco comes back and says, oh my God, this is copyright infringement for posting our letter. John Adams posts back the letter about copy. Posted the letter of copyright. It's good. It's good. Uh, I don't know how far he, he. I don't know how far the Kitco will go. Kitco has deeper pockets than John, unfortunately. So a lot of this is deeper pockets. Who's who's going to fund the lawsuit? Um, will it go to discovery? I mean, if they're going to accuse John of um, of saying things that aren't true, they're going to have to prove it. And by proving it, they're going to have to open their books for every day of the month, every day of the year, and show verified, audited inventories of silver in their warehouse, including serial numbers, and their total amount of claims against that silver, including, not only, but including um, all their customers of unallocated, allocated, and all that, Plus any other obligations for that silver. If they if they had any swaptions against it, if they have comic contracts against it, they have to they're gonna have to provide all the information on the ownership of that silver, whether it's within the pooled accounts or outside of the pooled accounts, and if any bars were swapped out serial number wise. So that's a big nut for Kitco to prove. And we all know it's not there, so good luck. They can do a lot of financial rigging of their accounting books, like usual, but it won't just stop at Kitco's um, inventory. It would have to be how many Comex contracts does Kitco or subsidiaries of Kitco, Kitco or do other entities like the Royal Bank of Canada claim any kind of ownership at all of the ownership that Kitco is claiming? Is there dual ownership? There's a hell of a lot of things that need to be discovered if Kitco really wants to go down that path and go to discovery. Now, they might just fight John with lawyers, letters after letters, and they might go to court and then try to drop it at the last second. I don't know. I don't know. John will have to sue back, probably, um, for this thing to ever go into discovery. Where do you go, John? Kicking some ass. Good job. It's not a fight I want to get knee deep in. It's going to cost a lot of money. I'm sure you can get donations from... Uh, silver bugs. I'd donate for a cause like that. All right. So silver, again, is jumping today. Uh, got got tamped down, as Chris Marcus has so uh, eloquently showed that the CFTC tamps down silver when they need to, because they don't want the silver to go higher. Silver price. This is the regulator. Uh, literally, they take their orders from the banking cabal. It's embarrassing. Um, but it got tamped down at 27 bucks. Next, it'll get tamped down at 30 And then when it blows by 30 they want it to go higher. They need it to go higher before this meeting on May 26th and 27th when they want to blame... They, remember, they want to blame the little guy. It was you keyboard thumpers or whatever they call us. I don't remember what they call us. Blame whoever you want. I just want free silver. I want silver to be traded freely. And... The only way to do that is shut down the COMEX or implement some kind of tools within the COMEX to make sure that there's no fraud going on, which would be very difficult without something like Veritasium, which is a peer-to-peer -peer, um, peer -peer transactions that are visible on the blockchain. I mean, I had 17, that road to Ruta, if you look up the 17 ways to fix the silver market, I, I gave that to the COMEX years ago. Things like uh, open books. So you know who's, like, see this jump of silver uh, from 81 cents? In my world, where all trades are visible, you know who's doing the trading. We would know why that happened. 
if it gets slammed down, we would know all the traders' names and the volumes that they traded to cause this mark change in market price. And if there's thousands of names causing this, that's great. That's a free market. If there's a handful, maybe four causing it, that's a fraud. And you can do that. Open books on the comics. And there's a whole other 17 other things just to, we need to make sure the fraud is over. For example, all this silver, how much of it's fake? And if anybody says, oh, no way a comics bar could be faked. Come on, give me a break. Of course they're faked. Mostly, mostly just paper phantom bars, but also actually molybdenum filled silver thousand ounce bars. They're out there. Absolutely. The comics doesn't melt. The comics auditors don't melt down the bars. You can't tell if it's 50% molybdenum inside a silver bar. You can't tell. That's why I'm like, you guys got to stick to the small denominations. One ounce and less. You can fake a one ounce, but it's easier to tell. I like the pre-65 coinage. You guys want silver? Call Andy Sheckman. Send him an email. Andy, A-N-D-Y, at milesfranklin.com, M-I-L-E-S-F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N.com. Say you're from the road to Ruta, he'll get you the best deal out there. Miles Franklin. But go to your local guy, too. Number one is go to your local guy, because that's probably the guy you're going to be selling your silver to. You need to make a relationship with that guy, or two of them. It's better if you have two. If you don't have two locals, use one, and then call up Andy and say, is this a good price for my local guy? He'll tell you. All right. <clears throat> Here we have it. Uh, silver was tamped down at $27. Um, it'll be tamped down again at 30, but it's going to, it's going to go, it's going to go above 30 before the May meeting, because that's what the May meeting is all about. What happened to the silver market? How come these banks are, are, are who we give a banking license to are playing in trillions of dollars in silver and gold derivatives? Why is that the case? And why shouldn't we pull their banking license if they want to play that game? Because then they couldn't print money out of thin air and throw these contracts to control gold and silver. The U.S. government's already involved. The U.S. government has been involved all along with the Exchange Stabilization Fund, but the U.S. government knew there would be a time when it was no longer in the advantage of the U.S. to rig the gold and silver markets, and that's where we are. So the U.S. government, if they are doing this on May 26th and 27th, they are going to be bringing these banksters in front of the... the uh, the congressional powerhouses, like Maxine Waters, if they're going to do that, they're going to have to have some chaos to talk about. And it is purely pre-planned, pre-packaged. My Jenny Moonstone issues we, we talk about. Jenny and I talk about, here, let me show you, on the private road. You go to the private road. The member area. Go to the member area. All you Road to Ruta members, go to Jenny Moonstone readings right there. We talk about all this stuff. The pre-planned silver moonshot, the silver scapegoat was the last one I, I posted this weekend. Go check it out. And the Theta Girl song is up, by the way. Go to um, go to Theta TV. Put on Theta, Theta TV. Uh, <laughs> and search for Road to Ruta and you'll find the Theta Girl song. I should have had it. Yeah, you guys can check it out. It's fun. It's a really fun one. Josh did a great job. Thank you, Josh, on the video. Um, but what were we talking about? Oh, uh, the Jenny Moonstone readings. Absolutely, 100%. Jenny's got her silver dagger. She's kicking ass, telling us what's going to happen. Uh, she gives us the Theta and T-Fuel short-term projection. There's the Theta dagger. Or I mean, the, the silver dagger. Really cool with the Moonstone on the back. Um, I think hers is 50 ounces. It's a serious one. <laughs> and the, the Silver Knights are here. We're fighting. This is the fight. This is what happens in the fight to free silver. So this is going to continue to go up all month. And then you are going to see uh, Comics Deliveries jump right here. You're going to see Comics Deliveries jump. And I don't know who the delivery entity will be. Probably J.P. Morgan because they're pretty much the only ones left with 1,000-ounce bars. Um, but it could be Bank of America. They're, they're trying to set up a couple fall guys for this. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, for some reason, had a big delivery as well. Two of the big banks. They're going to say, oh my God, we can't take down the big banks. It would be too harmful for the people. This is all a game. 
It's all postulating. They can click a mouse and put silver at minus $50 an ounce if they want to. If you don't think they will or don't think they can, you better look at the price of natural or gasoline. Look at the oil price. When they stuck it at minus $40. They can do anything they want with the computers and derivatives invented by Alan Greenspan in the 1960s, implemented throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even today. Click of a mouse. So just be wary. Get your physical metal in your own possession. Get your cryptos in your own possession. And watch the chaos as silver blows by $30, blows by $40, and blows by $50. I believe it'll blow by the all-time high before the end of the month. Big prediction, Bix. You've been wrong so many times. Absolutely. What is the fair market value of silver in a freely traded market? It's in the thousands. Is the market freely traded? No. Will it ever be? I believe so. Yes. All right, moving on. Theta girl. Go theta, go theta, go theta, go. Theta's looking good, strong. Filled in all the bases and all that shit for you technical traders. Theta's a, a buy and hold, by the way. I don't even look at the theta price anymore, believe it or not. I don't look at it. Because it doesn't matter. I know it's going into the thousands of dollars. Why would I care what it does today? Why would I care if I buy it at $11 or $10 if I know it's going into the thousands of dollars? Everybody who bought below $9 just recently, <laughs> you get to look back and say, oh my God, remember when I was able to buy Theta below $9 or below $20? Now, when the Coinbase announcement hits, when the uh, NFT Tom Brady announcement hits, that will be a good road to root really hit. If Tom Brady's the one that... Uh, Ed Reardon saw in his remote viewing. Bravo to Ed Reardon. Bravo to Rod Ruta. Bravo to Jenny Moonstone. Yes, I just gave away who Jenny Moonstone thought the. Uh, I asked her, "Is Tom Brady the one that that uh, is Tom Brady going to use the Theta uh, blockchain?" She says, "Did her little carbon magic." She's like, "Absolutely, that's the guy." Imagine Tom Brady on national television saying, buy Theta, buy Theta, buy Theta for his NFT company. It's coming. Uh, yep, yeah, Theta's doing well. Theta Fuel also. Check out the Jenny Moonstone ratio. Jenny Moonstone ratio. Uh, we talked about that right here. Theta versus T-Fuel ratio. <laughs> she was the first psychic to come up with a ratio number as far as I know. Uh, because I asked her. She didn't know what I was talking about, so she drew cards on it and came out with a number like, you would love if you owned Theta Fuel. Uh, the current ratio is, let's, let's do the current ratio. So Theta is at $11.76 divided by Theta T Fuel is at 0.3856 equals... 30 to 1. 30 to 1. You think Theta's going to do well? <laughs> Go check out Jenny's prediction on the Theta Fuel Ratio. And to join the road to Ruta and get all the inside scoop, including how to buy Theta in the U.S. before it comes on Coinbase, which I, I'm thinking could be before the end of the, end of, uh, the quarter. But who knows? Nobody knows. You're not allowed to know. This is America. You're not allowed to know things like that. Um... If you're not a member of Road to Ruta, go to subscribe today. You're going to get the coolest coin ever made. Ever made. It's the Road to Ruta coin. Each is individually numbered, double struck with luster. Cave of gold in the Grand Canyon right there. Ruta jumping up and down on a silver brick road. It, remember, it is silver that kills the Benkin Cabal, not gold. There's massive amounts of gold. If you own gold, you are insane. Swap it for silver. You can get, what, 67, 68 ounces of silver for every one ounce of gold. And they're going to one to one. There's 6 billion ounces of silver in the world. And there's 6 billion ounces of gold in the world, according to the mainstream. 6 billion of each. It's, it's just shocking that the price is 67, 68 to one. It's not shocking. It's market rigging. When that ends... And silver is so much more valuable and necessary than gold is. Gold, you stick it in the ground. You pull it out of the ground, you stick it back in the ground in a vault. Yes, I get the whole concept of gold, but 
The only reason gold is valuable is scarcity. Scarcity gives things value on a monetary side. What I'm telling you is gold is not scarce. There's not 200,000 tons of gold ever found in the world. There's like 2 million tons or 3 million tons of gold. So yes, I think silver will overtake gold as far as price at some point. But that's in a freely traded market. We don't live in one of those yet. But soon, very soon. Anyway, keep it on the price of silver. I think they're going to let it run slowly at first, and then it'll get out of hand. And the Reddit people are going to come on, and the, the Mayday people are going to come on, and the banks are going to blame them for the price of gold skyrocketing. When it is 100% the banks and the government's game, as we've proven many times on the road route. That's where we are. This is Big Square, RoadRoot.com. Talk to you later. Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now.